What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name is Michael Roman, aka All Fires. Now, it hasn't quite even been a week for us to digest the fact that Robert Downey Jr. is returning as Tony Stark, and I promise very shortly here at the channel we're going to be covering other topics. It's just that, obviously, the news cycle surrounding this announcement is actually still in full force, and where we probably would have asked this next question immediately if the announcement basically had not awestruck everybody is just how much money did Marvel Studios pony up and how in the world did they bring this all together? This would have been a question I thought we'd have to wait until maybe after these movies are released in years from now, but apparently Variety has gone ahead and let us know just how much money Marvel Studios put up and man, it is a boatload. We're breaking down this brand new article that outlines how much Marvel Studios paid, how they pulled it all together, and ultimately Robert Downey Jr.'s demands for coming back to play the role of Victor Von Doom. We're gonna break it all down, but first, if you could grab the subscribe button. We do daily Marvel content at the channel, that's all we do. We just announced a brand new winner for the Deadpool and Wolverine PS5. The next one is for Agatha All Along. Again, all you gotta do, be a sub, leave a comment if you want, stick around at the end of the video. We get into all the giveaway stuff again there. Also, my band All Fires is playing our very first show in Atlanta, Georgia on September 1st. So if you live in the area or you plan on being in town for one of the million things going on that weekend like Dragon Con, tickets are cheap, only 15 bucks but limited. So we would love to see you guys at the show. I'll leave a link down in the description and in the comments. And if you do come by, make sure to stick around after the set and say hi. I'll definitely be hanging out. Okay, so this was all revealed yesterday in an article by Variety under the headline Behind Robert Downey Jr. and the Russo Brothers Mega Avengers Paydays where they go on to report, quote, after a bruising year, Marvel is returning to the very thing that worked in the past. That means reuniting with franchise crown jewel Robert Downey Jr. as well as the Rousseaus who directed the two most successful movies for the studio with Avengers Infinity War and Avengers Endgame. But bringing back key members of the old gang won't come cheap. Sources say Marvel is plunking down 80 million dollars for Anthony and Joe Rousseau to direct Avengers Doomsday and Avengers Secret Wars, and quote unquote significantly more for Downey to tackle the uber villain Doctor Doom in the two temples. The Russo's deal doesn't include back-end compensation, but it does contain performance escalators that kick in at 750 million and 1 billion thresholds. The brothers will also produce the two films via their Agbo banner. That marks something of a departure for Marvel Studios, which typically doesn't like to work with outside producers, preferring to keep the team in-house. They go on to say for Downey, who helped catapult Marvel into the money printing machine that it's become thanks to his Tony Stark first Iron Man film in 2008, his deal is also filled with perks that include Include private jet travel, dedicated security, and a whole quote unquote trailer encampment for the newly minted Oscar winner Downey took home this past year's supporting actor honors for his role in Oppenheimer. They continue by saying, according to one knowledgeable source, Downey is by far the highest paid member of the Marvel Cinematic Universe and has pulled down between 500 and 600 million over the course of four Avengers movies, three Iron Man outings, and the cameos in The Credible Hulk. Captain America Civil War, and Spider-Man Homecoming. Still, some changes are in order. While the Russo brothers' previous two Avengers movies shot in Atlanta, the new outings will be filmed in London beginning in the second quarter of 2025. Variety previously reported in a cover story on the studio's woes that Marvel was considering pivoting away from Kang to Doctor Doom as Major's problems were mounting and that Chief Kevin Feige was always keen to bring back Downey. Sources say Downey, who is repped by WME, agreed to return to the MCU if the Rousseaus, who are CAA clients, would be directing. They were the only ones he would work with, a source familiar with the deal-making said. But from a bird's eye view of everything that happened over the weekend and the decisions now that Marvel Studios has made, I'm not surprised that his one condition was working with the Rousseaus. I mean, they're the directors who had taken care of Tony Stark's legacy. Maybe they're the only two directors on Earth who would know how to proceed forward with whatever in the world it is that Marvel Studios is doing. Now, there are some very interesting key factors in here. I'm very surprised to see that there will be no back-end compensation for the Rousseaus and topic for a different video, but that makes me feel like Marvel Studios' main endeavor is, as part of the Disney umbrella, getting ready to sell this big thing and somewhere down the road. That's why you would go ahead and keep the deal clean with all of their money up front and guaranteed, not including back-end factors. I may be wrong about that. That's purely speculation. But at this point, to know that Marvel put out $80 million for the Russos and then significantly more for Robert Downey Jr., which I'm going to guess is somewhere in the realm of 120 to 150 million. That means that both of these Avengers films are starting with a hundred million dollars each, if you sort of break it up amongst the films, on the back foot. 
they've got to find that profit first to even start breaking even on top of what the budgets will be for the film on top of the marketing budgets and keeping in mind that the theaters will take half it sounds like to me that marvel studios is putting up what could be between a half and a billion dollars to get these two films made Again, I may be completely off, but when you think about an Avengers film and you consider Secret Invasion, the TV show had a budget of $250 million, and rumors have been swirling around movies like the Marvels and Captain America Brave New World as having budgets in around $300 million plus, then you think about two Avengers films, $300 million might not be out of the question for each film. Now you know there's $150 to $200 million already invested in just the Rousseaus and Robert Downey Jr. You add the marketing on top of that, you get to a billion dollars and really fast which ultimately means that Marvel Studios is putting themselves in a position where if those Avengers films don't perform they could stand to lose a ton of money but that's why they bring the Russos back Robert Downey Jr. back and pay that money because that's exactly what they're trying to avoid and they hope that with this formula now these movies will go on to be two billion dollar films and maybe two of the biggest movies ever released in the history of cinema. They are definitely trying to beat Avengers Endgame. It'll be very interesting to see if they can. You guys let me know all your thoughts down below. I know there are some of you who still can't comprehend Robert Downey Jr. returning as a different character or how this will all go down. I strongly suggest you watch our video that I'll link at the end of this explaining the demon in an armor storyline and how i think marvel studios plans to move forward with this entire thing it definitely offers some semblance of an explainer which i go in depth trying to explain to you guys check that out it'll be linked at the end of this now quickly let's get into the giveaway stuff before i let you go like i said during the prologue we just announced a brand new winner for our ps5 giveaway in our very last video so if you missed it make sure to tune back for that and we're giving another one away for agatha all along which is just around the corner so if you want to be entered to win or for any of our future giveaways all the same rules will always apply hit the subscribe button because you need to be a subscriber then leave a comment down below because it's truly random the more videos you comment on the better chance you have of winning all winners will be announced at the end of videos the same way we're doing here the best way to keep up with the content has always been to hit the notification bell with all notifications turned on and as always if you like today's video i'd appreciate it if you'd hit the like button my name is michael roman you can find me in a couple of places instagram and twitter at i'm fires you can also find me on spotify youtube amazon apple itunes under the name all fires and while i sincerely appreciate you checking my music out Thanks for checking this channel out. Stick around. We'll be posting again real, real soon.